In May 1999, Manchester United achieved what seemed impossible, they won the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League, securing the historic treble. But for their legendary manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, the celebrations were short-lived. As soon as his players reported back for pre-season training in June, Ferguson had already shifted his focus to the future. He wanted his team to be even better next season, this mindset of constant improvement is what set Ferguson apart. While his players were still basking in the glory of their unprecedented triumph, Ferguson went back to the drawing board. He was determined to build on their success and continue winning. This attitude, as revealed by former United striker Dwight York, showed that Ferguson was on a different level. The feel-good factor of the treble victory only lasted a few weeks or months before Ferguson wanted to forget all about it. It was business as usual for him. And his desire to move on from the treble paid off. Although they never repeated the feat, United defended their Premier League title the following season and even won the Intercontinental Cup. Ferguson's relentless pursuit of excellence led to further success, with United winning three consecutive Premier League titles from 1999 to 2001. They became just the fourth English team in history to achieve this feat and Ferguson's legacy continued, as United went on to win three more consecutive titles in 2007, 2008, and 2009. Last season, Manchester City, under the guidance of Pep Guardiola, became the second English team to win the treble. But no team has ever won four consecutive league titles in the history of English football. City has the opportunity to achieve this milestone, but they are currently four points behind leaders Liverpool in the race for the Premier League title. As for Manchester United, their current season has been far from successful. A recent 3-0 defeat at home to Bournemouth highlights their struggles. They now face an uphill battle to reach the knockout stages of the Champions League. It's a far cry from the glory days of the treble-winning season. So, is Sir Alex Ferguson the greatest manager of all time? Let us know in the comments below. And stay tuned to Football News Center for more updates on the beautiful game. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And join our new WhatsApp community for daily doses of mirror football content. Thanks for watching.